This time of year is the least favorite time of year to be an escrow officer. It's tax time. Now, don't get me wrong. We want to close your transactions and love your business. But what I'm talking about when I say it's tax time is it's property tax time. Beginning October 1 of each year, title companies are required to pay property taxes at the closing and change how the taxes are prorated between the parties. When the taxes are actually due and payable, which by statute is scheduled for October 1 of the tax year, the title company collects the taxes from the seller, if they haven't already been paid, and charges the buyer with an according credit to the seller for the remaining term of the year. Changing how we prorate taxes is not a problem for escrow officers. The issue is that many sellers have escrowed the taxes on a monthly basis with the lenders and do not expect the title company to have to deduct the lump sum at closing. Title insurance is regulated by the Texas Department of Insurance. The regulations require title companies to insure property taxes are paid. So even though there is money in seller's escrow account with the lender to pay the taxes, the title company must insure payment by collecting at closing. Of course, when we pay the taxes at closing, the lender reimburses the amount that was escrowed for that purpose to the seller. But that is not an immediate reimbursement. It usually takes about two weeks after closing. As the year winds down, closer to December, sellers will claim that they have paid the taxes out of the escrow account, so the title company should not collect them at closing. Unfortunately, until the taxing authorities post payment, the title company must still collect. And for point of information, when the lenders state that they have paid the taxes, in reality, most have paid a service which they use to pay the taxes. The lender sends one lump sum check for all the money they have collected in their escrow accounts for all properties to the service company, who then, or which then, allocates to the respective properties appropriately and sends the payment to the taxing authorities. This actually may not happen until the last day of the year and sometimes all the way into January as taxes are not delinquent until February 1. In a situation where the lender has paid but the taxing authorities have not posted, the title company will also have to collect the taxes. The insurance regulations do allow us, however, to escrow those taxes we collect from the seller until the payment made by the lender can be posted. Once the lender's payment has been posted, the title company will reimburse the seller from the escrow amount. In the event the lender's payment is not posted by the end of January, the title company will pay the taxes from the escrow. This must be done before February 1 to avoid penalty and interest. Needless to say, sellers are often frustrated by this, so to speak, double payment, especially if they are not made of wear until closing. However, there is nothing the title company can do. My point I'm making you aware is so you can address this up front with your seller, setting the expectations early, avoiding the last minute surprise that often sours the whole transaction. The seller may not like having to escrow taxes, but at least he can know up front. Most clients will send referrals to agents who kept them informed and communicated thoroughly during a transaction. Lack of communication is the number one complaint, and great communication is the number one compliment in any transaction. I hope this was of value to you today. If so, please let us close your next transaction. Communication is Allegiance Title's forte. Thank you. <music>